Um, so that's something that's something that's missing, especially with your generation of guys that are Gen Zers. Um, they don't understand how to talk to people. Social media, you can blame it to that degree as well. But also, I'll blame it like the feminization of men, which you were talking about before. I blame a good amount of that on feminism itself because feminism lies to men and tells them women want an equal partner. I disagree with that. I don't think women want an equal partner. I think they want a superior partner. So that is why I don't buy the bullshit. And I just, that's why I said, with, like, with my chick, for example, you work for me. What I say goes, and this is how it goes. Like, she doesn't talk back to me or none of this bullshit. I'm the final right. decision maker. Okay. I don't believe in <laughs> equality in relationships at all. Right. I mean, if you take awesome. care of her, she got to. She got no choice. Hey, if well, you a boss, you a boss. I mean, but, but it, it makes said, her want to more yeah. easily. I'm like, Correct. yeah, if you provide, that I mean, makes you her want to. Now, with that said, it. don't get it twisted. I listen to her opinion. However, yeah, right. Um, and her suggestions. However, I make the final decision. Mm -hmm. If it doesn't make mm -hmm. sense or whatever, I'll just be like, no, we're not doing that. Whatever. So she gets my ear, but I make the final decision. But we, there's a lot of relationships out there where men will sit there and concede to what their woman wants, which I think is a problem. That's a big mm -hmm. mistake. I don't, I don't think women should ever lead relationships ever. So anyway, <laughs> I feel like um, they should voice their opinion. Do you feel like culture yeah. um, um, and like generation plays a part too, or no? You said culture and, gener and generation? Like, I say for so. instance, if you, wh like, where are you from? Oh, uh, my family's from Sudan. Okay. She, it's an Arab Middle Eastern country. And where is she okay. from? Do you feel like... She's from Venezuela. Okay, so do you feel like you guys, oh, different backgrounds and cultures play no, the part No, too? no, no, no. Her father is okay. very similar to me, actually. Okay. Uh, she came from a two-parent household. Her father's like me. He's very, uh, you know, he's like, hey, you know, this is what it is. No, I, I think culture does play a role in it, obviously. Um, but, you know, we live in a very secular world at time nowadays right? right like people don't really acknowledge religion like that people and with religion a lot of times traditional conservative roles take place right um so i think there's a bunch of different reasons as to why we are where we are now mm -hmm. um but i do think that feminism is a root cause for a lot of the problems we have socially question yeah by by men being feminine man you think that um feminine <laughs> feminized, right? Is what you're trying to ask? Yeah. By men by, being feminized? By fe men being feminized, do you think that, uh, like, not even their woman itself, like, if your woman, your woman family was to meet you and by you being a, say whatever you just said again, men, how you think they would feel upon that? Like, you know, you get what I'm saying? Uh, They wouldn't have a problem. Why not, though? If, a, if, if it's a problem for a female, why shouldn't it be a problem? Well, she for comes the from a Christian household. Oh. So they understand that the man's a leader. Okay. And this is with all Abrahamic religions. Like, whether it's Islam, <laughs> Judaism, Christianity, every major religion always puts, uh, is basically a patriarchy. I agree on I mean, that. I mean, I real, agree. real quick. I agree on that. Ladies mm -hmm. in here, would you prefer someone to pay your bills or split half with them? Raise your hand. Pay, pay my your bills, bills, daddy. Raise I love hand. you. <laughs> <laughs> pay your bills, right? We, 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 we could phrase it. Would you prefer a man that's a provider or a man that you can go 50-50 with? Raise your hands if you prefer a provider. Raise of hands. Like a pay your bills. Are you, are you I, saying 50-50 like, like I raise two. No, no, no. Provider as in he, he pays the majority of the real majority. bills. Or would you prefer a 50-50? So first we'll say, do you prefer a provider? Raise your hand. Raise of hands. I have a caveat. Majority. Majority. Okay. Um, a majority. What's but your... If I could this, be the nigga with the money, that that's cool too. Oh, really? But then you want to lead... Hold on. But then you you want to lead your man then? No, I don't want to lead. But so, if I have to be the nigga with the money to, like, but for myself... But, but if you don't have to... If I don't have to... Okay, then. you see how you kind of counteract, though, like... But that's... This is what no. I mean when I say feminism doesn't make sense. So, like, you, you do realize, like, you just c completely contradicted yourself, right? I'm a Libra, so I see both sides, though. <laughs> you see me when I'm, I'm single Bruh. right now, so right now, yes, of course, I'm handling everything. But when I have a man, baby, take over. Yeah, but you would not want to be with a man where... You're provide. paying his bills and oh, providing no, no, for him. No. That's what he's asking. <laughs> but Ray, I just explained it. Didn't I? <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll I didn't watch. explain it. Go ahead. Yeah, you. No, you, he you, asked you specifically, would you be with a man where you're taking care of the financial burden? No. Okay. All right. We, that, that, yeah, that's good? that's what he was asking. That's so what you, I you answered it differently. <laughs> oh, okay. How did I answer it? Because you said I could be the nigga and I could pay the bills. No, I was saying you meant for that myself, when you're single. When I'm single. When okay. I'm single. Okay, cool. Correct. Yeah, you didn't clarify that. But I wouldn't have a problem like helping him out. If he's not going to proceed to be able to provide for me after all. And how long would you do that for? <laughs> not too long. <laughs> it, it all depends. Because if no I way. see like I'm providing and you just trying to leech off you me. You said a magic word. You said depends. Yeah. <laughs> no. That is that is why women can't be in leadership roles. <laughs> see what it means? Like, could Too you imagine if you're with a man, right? And he's taking care of you. You think he's going to say some shit like, uh, like, hey, how long are you going to take care of your girl? Uh, it depends. We do contradict. See how we're different? We like, do contradict. That doesn't even come to my mind. Oh, it depends. Let's say, like, what? Like, no, that's my job. That's my duty as a man. But, like, for women, it's like, if you guys are in a provider role, 
the time clock is always going on when that provider role is going to finish. And you find a guy that can actually provide. It. <laughs> yeah. That is Does that make sense? True. Yeah, that's definitely true. So, so um, who is laying down on me? <laughs> no, we're, you're trying to. S oh, what's your caveat? This is interesting. Uh, so if the 50-50, or yeah, if the 50-50 implies that like it's 50-50 in general, and uh, ideas are equally taken into account, and he's not. But like you raise the, your hand for a provider, so you prefer the 50-50 then. Wait. If that's that side, and then the man paying the bills means that he's also like the leader and like doesn't you know he he calls the shots and shit yeah then i would take the 50 50. okay Great. so but you would take the breadwinner <laughs> okay so okay now it makes sense okay so yes. you would take the breadwinner but only if you had an equal say yeah but only if we're like distributing things uh in a way that makes sense and is not just like so he has a so let me get this straight he would have 100 percent of the responsibility but half of the authority but also i would have different responsibilities like that's just like the way that it works i would probably generally speaking have a household that either has at least one joint bank account and a lot of the funds are just pooled um but like if the choice is a uh, man that runs the house but also pays the bills and man that does not run the house and also doesn't pay the bills i'm choosing the one that doesn't run the house and doesn't pay the bills that i pay okay, half and half confused with me. Oh, she saying she, like she don't want a man to have 100% control over her. She want to have half, 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 50 feet. I can provide for her, but she still got to have her own opinion. Yeah, yeah. no. Right. What, what, okay, this is what I took from what you said. Correct me if I'm wrong. Confusing. It's, it's me. the two scenarios. The first scenario is he makes all the money, but you want 50% of saying it. Mm -hmm. That's the first one. Or if he says, no, you don't get no fucking saying it. You want it. You would prefer the 50-50. Yes. Where you bring half the money, he brings out the money, and you guys have equal say. Right. Okay. So I'll be honest with you. The first one, that's not a realistic scenario. Yeah, it's not. Um, you cannot have... It is. A lot of people have that. No, no they, they just Hold on. Like... No, they don't. Hold on. No, they don't. Are you there 24-7? Okay. Yeah. What do you mean am I there good. 24 it, it sounds like they're doing that, but they're really not. Because on you... paper, you're saying, like, for example, if they can do 50-50, Oh, 50, am right? I in this situation? Yeah. Yeah, it sounds like it, but in, yeah, in reality, it, it, it never happens well, that way. Here's the thing, man. Um, and, and this is kind of like a ideal, like, mindset, but it's not real. Like, um, if someone has 100% of the responsibility, a.k.a. bringing in the money, taking care of you, whatever, it's ludicrous to tell them you only have 50% of the authority. My word matters just as much as yours. That's ridiculous, and that's just not how the world works. If I have 100% responsibility, that means I have also 100% authority. Now, what you're saying is, well, I want it to be equitable. Cool. Well, if you want it to be equitable between the two and equal, you know, more egalitarian mindset, then you would have to bring half uh, the financial things. But what I would that's argue— That's not a problem for me, though. And that's fine. That's cool. You say that now. But <laughs> you, say that now. You, know. you say that now. You're, you're 19 years old, so it's, I'm not going to like try to shit on you. But what I'm saying is that I promise you, as you get older, your standards— on men are going to go up and you're going to be less okay with a 50 50 trade-off with a man because what i've realized with women is like if they go 50 50 with a man yeah they'll tolerate it for a bit but most girls don't want to do that especially if you get older you want to have children etc it's very difficult to work a full-time job while also rearing children and then yeah you could always put them in childcare and everything else like that but why do you want strangers dealing with your kids especially in today's crazy world also but yeah think about this Dang, in reality right it is never really 50 50. Mm -hmm. Think about this. Tell me. It's true. Now, granted, though, let's say we're being equal here. Mm -hmm. What if you were also to be drafted too, as a like as a man? Because you want it to be equal, what? right? Like what being drafted. Well, okay, wait. Let's uh, just the basis of. I am very likely going to end up marrying a woman and paying half and half anyways. So why you, why you care then? I don't. I'm just answering the questions. I'm trying to, <laughs> <you know? laughs> okay. I feel like men, because I come from men being the provider, so yeah. Mm -hmm. And men already like have that dominant mindset, so it's just like you can't take that from them. I mean, we can all agree in a perfect world. Not all. Uh, I was gonna say yeah. that's a minority of guys. Most guys will sit there and you know listen to what their girl says and, you know, let her lead and mm. wear the pants in a relationship. Because mm. they don't but have to lead. I'm speaking 50, on being 50. a provider, though. But, oh, oh, you're talking about specific yeah. provider? Let's, let's be real here, though. A lot of guys aren't providers nowadays. So, uh, as yeah. a result... Yeah, that's a minority yeah. of men nowadays, yeah, yeah. unfortunately. But that's personally. why I said, do y'all feel like... Merch. Generation and culture plays a part in it? Or 100%. no? Yeah, yeah okay. it does. Yeah. It does. It absolutely yeah. does. I mean... Yeah, it, it's it, religion plays a part in it, culture plays a part in it, eth, uh, uh, background family. plays a role in mm -hmm. it, family, all of that. So right know? now, what y'all feel like is the most important thing that plays a part in a man feeling like he needs to be a provider? Or y'all feel like men don't care to be providers at this day of age? A majority of men don't care to be providers nowadays. Why do you feel like that? Why not? 
I'm saying there's like, a multitude of reasons why. Um, she's asking what's, what's the biggest contributor? It's like, feminism. Yeah. I'll mm-hmm. say that feminism is by far the biggest contributor as to why men no longer um, want to be providers <sighs> because women run around and say, I don't, I mean, hell, let's go back literally 15 minutes ago on this podcast. We asked you, do you need a man? The majority of you said no. So let me ask you a question. If I'll use this analogy, let's say you're walking down the street, right? We give uh, the, the dream world Soundbite. shit. Soundbite. Stupid. Sorry, man. That was me. Yeah, you're... Oh, yeah. Oh, that's for you, stupid. Okay. Um, let's say you're walking down the street, right? And you see an old lady, and she's like fucking struggling with some grocery bags. Help me! She's like fucking, you know, flopping all over the place and all this other shit, right? She just came from Publix, right? We're down here in Florida. She's fucking, you know, struggling. And um, she can't, can barely carry the bags. Would you help her? Yes. Yeah. You would all help her, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's see. You see an able bodied man, great shape, etc. He's he got like 20 bags like this. You just walk in like this. Would you stop him and say, hey, do you need help? Would you yeah. help me? Not if he's not struggling at all. No. He's not struggling. He's, he's like <laughs> no. just trucking. No. Fantastic. No. Yeah, so imagine that dude that's walking with the bags like this. That's a lot of you single independent women. That's true. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's ex- that's, that's you guys. That's how, right? Why? Versus <laughs> why, why would we help you? Why would we help you when you don't need it? Mm-hmm. So that's how right. a lot of men think. It's like, okay, girls make their own money. Why the fuck do I need to step up and make a bunch of money? Why do mm-hmm. I care? Mm-hmm. Right? Women need to understand that like a lot of the modern conveniences that we have now, a lot of the inventions, a lot of the um, uh, success that men have, it's derived from their, uh, their need to compete for women. Mm-hmm. Right? To get sure. attractive women. Mm-hmm. You guys think we fucking wear Rolexes and drive Lambos and all this shit for dudes? No. If it was up to us, we live in a fucking cardboard box. We don't give a shit about none of that stuff. <laughs> it's all a status symbol to attract the most women possible. So, um, when women, when there's no longer that need, right, that impetus or need for men to create and the women are more self sufficient, why the fuck are we gonna help y'all? Yeah. You make yeah. your own money, right? You're strong and independent. Yeah. And then you listen to the rap music. You listen to. Music in general, right? We don't need men, etc. Mm-hmm. You know, I'll listen to her. and they poison oh, you guys even more, right? To make you realize, oh, all the single ladies, all the shit, and like they they put it on a pedestal that you don't need men. So, it's in the culture. It's with the women. It's it. The fe- women are running around saying that we're strong and independent. We don't need men. So why the hell are guys gonna step up? They don't need to, right? Right. It's That's all how about a lot the of guys. Behavior. It takes a guy like me, right, to sit there and say this is all a bunch of bullshit. Mm-hmm. You guys don't know nothing. Mm-hmm. I'm the leader. Yeah. For a girl to like be like, oh, okay, now I can finally be with a guy and submit, but it's like. I had to break through so much bullshit mm-hmm. to be able to see through the lies mm-hmm. to tell you what it really is, right? Mm-hmm. But most men simply aren't going to do that mm-hmm. because they're going to believe what the world tells them. They're going to believe pop culture yeah, and all this other agenda. shit. Yep. You I think it's true? Right, Definitely the agenda. You think it's true that uh, the majority of men don't care about, like, you know, being ambitious and satisfying their potential and shit aside from how it affects their you know yeah they don't situation with women yeah no they don't i mean a lot of guys are addicted to porn a lot of mm-hmm. guys are you know Sad. just paying for <laughs> prostitutes uh they're you know sex dolls is like an emerging marketplace so um you know and then you look at social media it's like blunted people's ability to speak properly and coherently so ai yeah ai so th- there's a lot of things uh that are in play obviously right and i don't want to sit here and blame it but this is just the reality that we're in. So, like, yes, a lot of men aren't necessarily as ambitious. And also, you got to keep in mind, too, ladies, and I talk 